this video is all about connecting the um, MX1 to your Jupiter 80, which is actually a relatively simple thing to do. You run a USB straight out of the back of the Jupiter 80, and you put the USB in the back of the MX1. You need to make sure you've got the latest firmware on the Jupiter 80, and you need to make sure you've got the latest firmware on the MX1. And then, in theory, the whole thing works together. So I've got my JP80 on my USB 3 input. If I play something on the JP80, you can hear... There it is. So I'm just going to mute that out. The other thing that happens um, when you connect the equipment to the MX-1, specifically the other pieces of RE equipment, which was what the MX-1 was designed as a control surface for, is they take the MX-1 clock source as de facto clock source. So if I hit start stop on here, and there's a simple drum beat on my TR-8, I can adjust the tempo of that drum, drum beat using my MX-1. Let's move that channel out. And I can start and stop it from here as well. Okay, that's all well and good. However, if you're running an arpeggiator, you want that arpeggiator to be on the same clock source as everything else that's running, specifically the drum machine and the bass machine and whatever you're doing with your system one. Okay, so this is how you actually get the two to line up and be in sync. Right, so now we're going to set the JP80 up so that it sees the MX1 as its master clock source. So the first thing we do is obviously locate the menu button, which is at the bottom of the screen, and we press that to, put, to get the system menu up. So let me just refocus on that, like so. The next thing we do is we go into the system, and we look for an option here which is selected because it's the last thing I did, which is sync and metronome. Okay, so I'll press that one to get this screen up. Then you can see that it is actually set, set at the moment that the JP80 is the master and the clock source is MIDI. So these are two things that we need to change to make it work with the MX1. So the first thing we need to do is we need to change this from the master to a slave. Just like that. The second thing we need to do is we need to go to the MIDI source and we need to say this is actually going to be a USB source and not a MIDI source. Now we don't need to touch this sync output at the moment, okay? So leave that off. And that is all you have to do to set this up, okay? Now you've done that, it should be good to go. So now we will save that. So if I just move over here, we use this exit button here to save the settings and we exit again go back to the keyboard itself. So now the keyboard should now be set up with the MX1 as the performer keyboard. So if I now take that off mute and I start mucking around with the clock Just to put this back on the MX1 so you can see what I'm doing. So I'm going to repeat what I was just doing. Take this off mute. Not the coolest drum beat in the world, but it, it, it demonstrates the uh, the fact that this is now a slave to the MX1. The MX1 is now the master clock source, and therefore my arpeggiator will play in time to the beat that is selected on the other instruments. So there you go. Not very difficult to set up. 
but has a vast difference on what you're playing and how your sound will work with all the machines synced together.